What's good guys? So today we're watching, uh, it says top 10 things you didn't know the UK invented. And yeah, you know, uh, I want to see what they invented. And yeah, let's, uh, let's watch. Watch let's Mojo. make history. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 things you didn't know were invented in Britain. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've picked out some of Blighty's best inventions and ranked the ones which we think are often overlooked. Number 10, okay. chocolate bar. Well then, what? I've been a lot of trouble with their own. Oh, you've got to be lying. I saw this in like Charlie and the, the Chocolate dark. Factory. Before they Mars started bars, that. Dairy milk, Twix, Twirl, or Toffee Hershey's, Twix came fried they started chocolate that. cream. Predated only by bittersweet treats, including an innovative 1847 effort by Joseph Fry himself, chocolate cream was the first Fries. bar to be widely distributed, hitting shelves in 1866. Make the moment last with Fry's chocolate cream. Mm, are you sure? I think I had a I had a grandpa from like 1862, two years before this released. I think he he sent me one of these uh, bars. Like he, you know, he passed it on from generation to generation. So I think he was the first to actually make chocolate. I don't know about these guys. I don't know where they got the this from. Center, but... The idea quickly <laughs> caught on with a certain John Cadbury mm. starting mass production soon afterwards. Then came Henry Nestle, Dairy. Rudolf Lindt, and Milton S. Hershey. Chocolate? Oh, yuck. I hate chocolate, chocolate! to be honest. Chocolate! Too brown for me. Number nine, maybe postage vanilla. Stamp. So can you set fire to a postage eh, stamp? No. Useless. No one uses stamps anymore. A postage stamp is legal tender. A bus driver would have to accept that. Here's one to write home about. The heady history of the postage stamp boasts a series of major players, with most of the significant changes happening in London. Oh, yes. Yes, so. There it is. The penny black. Sir Roland Hill is widely credited with creating the self-adhesive item we take for granted today, as well as a regulated cost system. In China, though, they already stamps, had these. The penny black and the two pence blue in 1840. Both bear an image of Queen Victoria sure America and both are worth this. a pretty penny today. So everybody who wants to send a letter... The ones here have, have American flags on them. Number eight, Viagra. What's the matter? What's the matter? You just took a Viagra, Viagra. with me. What? Well, I, I, I thought it would make it better. That's not true. They did not make the first Viagra. I got it. So, okay, look, we have history books here. And there's this one history book I was reading. It's uh, it's about like, I think it said George Washington was the first to invent Viagra or something. Um, I don't know. My teacher might have been tripping, but she, she gave us one of these books and it was like, George Washington was like addicted to Viagra or something and he used to he used to feed it to cows or something like that. I don't know if it's Viagra or was it Virginia? I don't know what it was a textbook and I could have sworn I read Viagra. So I don't know why the UK claims to have made that stuff. Even if they made it, it's kind of Sex irrelevant is something nowadays. Of a no one uses subject in British history. First, the vibrator was conceived by an 1880s physician who sought a cure for female hysteria, and then male impotence was solved is that largely so? by accident. The effects the Queen's of the on Viagra were discovered in 1991, when a group of Kent-based Pfizer employees what? were researching a proposed new treatment for angina. But rather than writing the heart, the product precipitated other noticeable changes. The findings were quickly turned into a pill, sparing bedroom blushes worldwide. You can't. Oh, this is why I used to give my cats Viagra. They used to Number love seven, this stuff, table honestly. Tennis. I gotta in tell truth, you, the UK's response it's not for bad for them either. had a major mm -hmm. hand in the development of countless sports. Badminton, that was well, all. It started cricket, in China, obviously, though, to be rugby, honest. Football, snooker, and bowls, all at least partly British. Squash was invented at Harrow, netball at Hampstead College, and modern golf is Scottish. But we've singled this out table tennis. The, Chinese. the first time a father and son are playing each other in the world table tennis final, and neither of them are Chinese. An Olympic sport since 1988, it began in Victorian England as a popular parlor game. Using improvised nets and paddles, really? players played over a dining table, often serving golf balls to their opponents. Somebody said world peace was in our hands. But all I it's did always in China, on. honestly. Number six, flushing toilets. While there Flushing is evidence toilets. that early civilizations used water mm. to sanitize toilets, it wasn't until Tudor England 
that a recognizable flush system oh. emerged. Oh God, I beg you, please, if you make this water go down, I will sit at your feet and I will I don't know about flushing toilets. Sir I John thought Harrington the U.S. Led started the way, that first. Installing a basic model for Elizabeth like I at Richmond Palace. But it was almost 200 years before this throne became a household convenience. How about a courtesy flush over there? <laughs> South Yorkshire's Thomas Crapper perfected the U-Bend in 1880. At the Great Exhibition in 1851, purpose-built WCs were all the rage. Number 5. Guillotine hmm. Though best known for cutting oh, yeah, they definitely made history, these. this deadly device was actually a British idea. Beheading was a popular way of executing quick... criminals Ooh. in the Middle Ages, but all that wielding of how swords... Quick... Wait, wait, how quick would you die if, they, if you had to do this? Because I feel like you, um, once the head separates, I've seen clips where, like, it's still moving. The person is still looking in shock. They're like, whoa, my head just got cut off. Whoa. So their brain is kind of, like, still there, but, like, they can see Even their body so. being cut While off. While the guillotine but... was named after a French doctor, early versions are recorded as far That's kind of cool, as though, honestly. In northern England and Scotland. Whoa. The Halifax gibbet featured a crude axe head on a wooden board. While legend says the Ooh. Scottish maiden was used to behead an earl who helped install it. Number four, jet engine. Historically, war Jets. forces ideas. I, feel the need. The need. I don't think the UK made jets. First, the military tank was devised by the Brits for World War One. It was Russia. Inspired by a H.G. Wells story, then came pioneering advances in the skies. The first patent for the jet engine was filed by Sir Frank Whittle in 1930, but Whittle's revolutionary ideas weren't realized until midway through the Second World War, by which time a German designer had already adapted his plans. Furthermore, Whittle's ideas were also shared with America, meaning Britain missed its head start for their commercial applications too. To gain control, you gotta lose control, right? Oh, so America started Number this. Three, I knew RBF. America was great. Introduced in the Pregnancy. 70s, in vitro fertilization mm. flipped some of our most fundamental ideas about human biology. How many times have you tried now? Three? Nine. The last two were in vitro. Developed for the most part by Patrick Steptoe and Robert G. Edwards, it proved that a successful pregnancy that could useful? be initiated outside of the human body. Louise Brown was the world's first so-called test tube baby, conceived in a Petri dish and born in Oldham. Well, given your situation, the options with the greatest chances for success would be surrogacy or insemination using a sperm donor. The birth raised... Uh, honestly, bro, I feel like I like to be born, like, it's kind of like babies who are made inside the stomach and, like, stayed there, uh, stayed in the stomach. I feel like that's kind of cool. Like, it's better to be inside the stomach than outside in some machine. I feel like being inside the stomach is cooler you know like you can flex on the other babies like oh you weren't even born you were like like we like um i'd say like it was you had a release date almost because like you're you were you got born the second you got you got born like two months at two months old and then you you're just getting released now but i was in the stomach all those nine months bro i was having fun I was chilling, you know, I was watching movies, all that cool stuff while you were outside. I don't know. I don't really like, um, yeah, I wouldn't like to be born outside the womb. I'd like to be born inside. Yeah. Ongoing Being raised outside questions. seems lame. But the procedure has become an increasingly available option with more than 250,000. Yeah, if my mom babies, were to put me in my like... born in the UK. What does that mean? It means that well, my that guys sucks. would get off their bark loungers and you have a uterus if that my is mom, to like... kill the ones that do. Number two, digital audio player. Otherwise, uh, I don't doubt the digital player thing, but if my mom were to like take me out the stomach at like one to two month old and have me raised on the side, like I, I would not like her. Like, what are you doing taking me out of your stomach? It's not time yet. Like, it's not nine months yet. Why am I going to grow outside? You know, like, mm, the containers are lame. You know, kids being born is, like, that's cool. Like, I don't really remember being born, but, like, I know that's cool. That's definitely cool. I kind of want to watch um, women giving birth. I feel like that's kind of cool. Yeah. But being already born and then they're just going to open that 
I guess, jar. That's lame. Better be known as honest, possible yeah, media player and MP3 about. player, or most famously, an iPod. You'd be forgiven for thinking that these devices came straight out of lame. Silicon Valley, but no. Nope. The gadgets were first thought up by Kane Kramer, a London-based serial inventor who designed the IXI in 1979. She's making playlists. She likes to listen to MP3s when she hunts. Similar in size to a cigarette lot. packet, mm. with a small screen and four navigation buttons, the blueprints are uncanny. But Kramer's patent expired a decade later, leaving others free to act on his ideas. And that they did. Number one, motion That's pictures. That's why iPhones are the best. We finish with Britain's mass of media breakthroughs. Thomas Wedgwood, son of the pottery pioneer, experimented with early attempts at photography, while the Scotsman, John Logie Baird, was the first to demonstrate TV. But Edward Muybridge teased what about Marvel? Spot, thanks to his modestly named 1870s study, A Horse in Motion. Aimed to determine how a horse gallops, it featured a series of silhouettes. Ooh. Wait, motion pictures was before Marvel? That's kind of not fair. I feel like something is, someone's cheating over here. Like, I remember seeing this, um, they had this little book where they had, it was like a flip book showing motion and all that. That was before Marvel, huh? I mean, Marvel's better anyways. He threw so another really of Edward's inventions, a zoopraxoscope. That was an early film projector, and the study was a precursor for motion pictures and That's the That's kind of cool, industry. though. Props to uh, Grimm if they picks? really made Check this out stuff. These other uh, I don't really agree with most, most of them. I'd say Viagra would be my number one invention. If the UK really made Viagra, then you guys, that's kind of cool. I don't really use it anymore. Like, I just give it to my cats and all that stuff. But yeah, aside from that, maybe motion pictures would be number two. Uh, let's see. Candy would be number three. I mean, chocolate. But Viagra definitely takes number one for me. I didn't even know the UK made that. But hey, I guess, I guess we'll never know. We'll never know. But yeah, have a nice day.